a gentle and fearless dog breed, the Maltese greets everyone as a friend. Their glamorous white coat gives them a look of haughty nobility, but looks can be deceiving. Even though these are purebred dogs, you may still find them in care of shelters or rescue groups, so remember to adopt. This is a sprightly, vigorous dog who excels not only as a companion, but also as a therapy dog and competitor in dog sports such as agility, obedience, rally, and tracking. But most of all, they love to be with their people. Even novice pet parents and apartment dwellers will find these pups to be excellent furry family members. The compact Maltese should weigh no more than 7 pounds at maturity, with 4 to 6 pounds being preferred. Males should be 8 to 10 inches tall at the shoulder, while females should be 8 to 9 inches tall. Beware of breeders who offer teacup Maltese. A Maltese that weighs less than 4 pounds at maturity is more prone to genetic disorders and is at a higher risk in general. The Maltese is a natural hand with a lively personality. Because he's so people-oriented, he takes well to training and responds to positive reinforcements such as food rewards, praise, and play. Fearless, Maltese assume that everyone they meet, human or animal, is a friend. Sweet and cute, they're widely known for always getting their way, even with people who have no intention of spoiling them. Temperament is affected by a number of factors including heredity, training, and socialization. Puppies with nice temperaments are curious and playful, willing to approach people and be helped by them. Choose the middle of the road puppy, not the one who's beating up his litter mates or the one who's hiding in a corner. Always meet at least one of the parents, usually the mother is the one who's available to ensure that they have nice temperaments that you're comfortable with. Meeting siblings or other relatives of the parents is also helpful for evaluating what a puppy will be like when he grows up. Before we continue, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it would mean a lot. Thanks. Like every other dog, the Maltese need early socialization, exposure to many different people, sights, sounds, and experiences when they're young. Socialization helps ensure that your Maltese puppy grows up to be a well-rounded dog. Enrolling him in a puppy care and garden class is a great start. Maltese are generally healthy, but like all breeds are prone to certain health conditions. While not all Maltese will get any or all of these diseases, it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. If you're buying a puppy, find a good breeder who will show you health clearances for both your puppy's parents. Health clearances prove that the dog's been tested for and cleared of a particular condition. The Maltese enjoy a regular walk or playing outside. They often remain playful well into old age. Because they are active indoors and don't require a great deal of exercise, it doesn't take a lot of effort to keep them in good shape. As a rule of thumb, wait until your Maltese puppy is 8 months old to walk very far with him because his bones are still developing. Let your puppy play at his own pace in your fenced-in yard until he's mature and then take him to your vet for a checkup before embarking upon a regimented exercise program. Maltese definitely are house dogs and don't tolerate extreme heat or cold well. How much your doll dog eats depends on its size, age, build, metabolism, and activity level. Dogs are individuals, and just like people, they don't all need the same amount of food. It almost goes without saying that a highly active dog will need more than a couch potato dog. Keep your Maltese from getting fat by measuring his food and feeding him twice a day rather than leaving the food out all the time. The quality of the dog food you buy also makes a huge difference. The better the dog food, the further it will go towards nourishing your dog and the less of it you'll need to shake into your dog's bowl. The stunning Maltese coat is pure white, silky, and straight, reaching all the way to the ground. Maltese don't have the undercoat typical to many breeds and don't shed very much. On the downside, Maltese coats mat easily and become dirty. Gently brush and comb the coat of your Maltese daily, even if he has a sporty short trim. This helps to prevent mats and keep him clean. As beautiful as they are, Maltese become dirty easily and usually must be bathed weekly. Most Maltese breeders will not sell puppies to families with young children. It's just too easy for a toddler to injure a tiny Maltese by dropping him, stepping on him or holding him too tightly. He does much better in a home with quite older children or adults who will only treat him with the care he needs. When it comes to other dogs and pets, Maltese can get along well with other dogs and cats if they are socialized to them at an early age. They're unaware of their tiny size, however, and must be protected from taking on dogs that are 10 or 20 times their size. Alright guys, what do you think about the Maltese? Tell me down in the comments. 